All right, Tony Scaponi here with the Epic Storm. Hope y'all are ready for a spicy one tonight. We're playing some Mono Blue with Force of Will, Riddler. But per usual, just give me a few minutes because YouTube doesn't give me the link until I start it. So let me get that link out there on Twitter or X and Discord, and I'll be right back so we can jam. All right, we are back with some Mono Blue Riddler. This is one of my favorite decks. Um, I have actually only played with it once uh, because I wanted to save it for a time that I would play it with uh, Killaby. I never got that opportunity. The time zone's a little bit off, but I played it once and trophied with it <laughs> the one time that I played it. So hopefully we can replicate that uh, result here. Big change, though. We are now completely mono blue, and we're running Force of Will, which is always a, has a little bit of tension with Lion's Eye Diamond, but what I found the most important thing to leverage Force of Will in a Lion's Eye Diamond deck is being able to play... What did you say? Hmm, nope, not working. What does that mean? You can hear me, right? <laughs> Just confirm that for me, but I'm pretty sure we're good to go. It looks good on my end. Um, uh, the way that you can leverage Force of Will in a Lion's Eye Diamond combo deck is by p having spells that uh, your opponent has to fight over, right? So Containment Construct, Riddle Smith, these are cards that your opponent actually has to Force of Will so that you can force back, or they have to remove it, and then you can use your forces. Um, you don't necessarily need Lion's Eye Diamond to go off. And then being able to put Force of Will under Containment Construct might come up. That's pretty sweet. There's a ton of cool stuff going on with this deck. You assemble Riddlesmith Containment Construct. You start casting spells and you just draw your deck. And then you wind up brain freezing them. You beat them down with Saga Tokens. It's so explosive. Um, and now we have Force of Will. And we have all sorts of sideboard tools to stop various interaction um, and hate pieces from the opponent. So I'm pretty pumped. This list looks sweet. Killaby just took first place in uh, the last challenge. I believe it was a Sunday challenge. But um, I'm looking forward to jumping into a league here. I do want to thank our sponsors, of course, Moxfield Card Hoarder and KMC Sleeves, right? Let me look. That's a new one for me. Sorry. Uh, yeah, KMC. Um, and, of course, I want to mention that I also have my own YouTube Twitch, Patreon, uh, if you like a lot of the decks that I have created, uh, you can find uh, various guides on my Patreon, and of course I did just start a podcast, and my co-host, one of my co-hosts, is the creator of this deck, Killaby, so myself, it's called Bruise of Paradise, Bruise of Paradise, myself, 
Killaby, Punishing Waterfalls, and we uh, have added Newton, the creator of Cradle Control. So check that out on all the platforms, and of course check out Eternal Glory podcast. In fact, I'm going to start with an Eternal Glory podcast um, ad or what have you. All right, so I will see you in the first round. Be right back. The best legacy podcast? That would be Eternal Glory featuring myself, Bryant Cook, alongside Brian Koval and Phil Gallagher. We're available on all major podcast platforms and YouTube. So, this deck is sweet. It's really sweet. We've got... Odawara, as well as Chain of Vapor. So there are two very efficient cards that can get us out of sticky situations. Ooh, speaking of, <laughs> there's Matt, Punishing Waterfalls. He knows what we're playing, too. And uh, I have added a card preview as well as the chat here. So... Hopefully that's an upgrade for us. I made sure to leave a spot for the storm count, which we will likely need. Good luck, Matt. This is Punishing Waterfalls, one of my other co-hosts. That's so funny. I'm playing with one of my co-host decks uh, against another one of my co-hosts of Bruise Paradise. Matt says, Aloro says hi. So I guess he's streaming. <laughs> Aloro's always in my chat suggesting D&T. Um, okay. They mulliganed. I mean, I'm inclined to keep this. We have redraws. We got Saga stuff going. We can't play this Riddle Smith, but maybe we draw Petal or Opal, in which case I will. Death and taxes, yep. <laughs> e and T. Uh, okay, so they kept on six. They're on the play. Coming out the gate with a Trinosphere. Okay, I mean, a pretty decent hand against Trinosphere. A little Saga action going. When I say a little Saga action, I mean a lot of Saga action. Ooh, turn behind on that one. Another Trinisphere, pay to life, got it. No worries. All right, we're gonna be making tokens. We'll drop another Saga and hopefully that's enough. Depends what they have here, they have another Saga, okay, all right. Or, ooh, I almost just have six, that was close. I guess technically, Go to the end step here. Right, make my token on tap. Make another token. We have um have spell bomb here. Better than Opal. The Opal's really doing anything for us. This will eventually, hopefully, break this situation. It's going to pass. I think we want to trade. Quite the situation here. Imagine if we were on the play. Certainly makes a difference. All right, what are they? What are they getting here? Opal. Petal. Okay. Let's 
didn't attack. Alright. It's really hoping we draw, like, an island. That would have been nice. They can't make another construct. Um... Yeah, we're definitely just going to clean up here. Nothing but Saga stuff. Um, sort of a bobble, I guess. Alright, they're making another token. I guess I should make one, just in case they're, like, sandbagging a uh, needle. They are aware that we have Force of Will, though, so maybe that wasn't necessarily advisable. Okay, we have to do something here. We can't trade well. If we block with two 4-4s, four we wind up both dying. We can assign 4 and 3, and then when one dies, the other one becomes a 3-3, three, three, and they both die. I just got to chump one. I don't love that. Chump one. Then we can make another, and then we can bounce one of theirs. Boom. Interesting. Guess I get. Chromox? Not really using Riddlesmith. As well. The Tomb. Still pretty awkward though, huh? So the fact that they were able to put two artifacts into play is pretty big. Mm. We might be okay. I mean, they have four cards in hand, which is pretty scary. We're already having trouble on board. So, we're obviously doing this. Might as well just do it now. Then, I think we're, we're going to wind up left with no constructs, and they have one. Like, we can double chump, and then we still have one, but that's not going to do it. We can... I think we have to trade and then everything dies because this one's dying and this one's dying and then two damage is going on this and it's going to be a 2-2 two -two, so they're all dead. Nothing else we can do here. Yep. Since they have two, it's not good enough if we draw like Chain of Vapor or something. Oh, Masters? Okay. All right, you did it. You're on the play. <laughs> that hand would have been probably a turn one if, if not. Or no, 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 we had more lands, but it was pretty good. Okay. What are you doing? Trinosphere, Bowmasters. What are they doing? Matt's always playing something wild. Super wild. I don't think I need defense grid. Um, definitely want Raven form. This one again, this thing's 
Choose Miran or Phyrexian. Miran is whenever you cast an artifact spell, you get a 1 1. Phyrexian is at the beginning of your end step, draw a card, then discard a card. You get to loot every turn. For 15 or more artifact cards you give it, they lose. I feel like this is too slow against them. They might have Chalice. They probably do. We definitely want Haywire Might. We don't need these. Force of Negation. Again, if, I, if I'd seen more of their deck, maybe I would want these. Maybe I'll play one as a Trinosphere. On the play, though. Maybe I just want it on the draw. I don't know. Let's put these here. <sighs> And definitely trim a couple of baubles. I think I want to keep my blue cards. Two more, so we go to 22. 20 blue cards. Don't mind Spell Bomb. I want Chain of Vapor. I want my combo. Fill them with brain freeze. It's like pro mox because we're going to be doing a lot more forces. Cut, cut some of the zeros. Did we just like yellow a hand like this? You do it for two. Keep like force plus a blue card. I don't love that. I'm gonna keep it. Play these out. So we go up to five, go down to two. Force plus blue. Hopefully, we put an echo in the graveyard. Use this pedal, keep three cards. So I don't hate that. It kind of cycles it. Let's try that. Draw four. Keep three. Okay. Uh. Because that's problematic, because now we don't have force. But we do have two draws to get there, so... Discard Echo. Ancient Tomb. Play Petal. Bobble you. Naga, Bobble you. Turn Sphere. Okay, let's hope to draw a blue card. Come on, baby. Lots of blue cards. Sweet. Sweet. Okay. Have it and they waited till their turn. So they must have drawn it. Right? I feel like we have to force this. It'd be impossible, but very difficult to win if we don't. I get Trinisphered, but I 
Uh, yep, you're right. They did. Yeah. I don't know why they waited. If you're gonna wait, you might as well wait till my draw step. I don't know, man. And you turn one of Trinosphere. Please don't. <laughs> please? Pretty please? I'm sorry? Disguise. Did they disguise it? Cast. Or they just cast it. It's a 3-2. There's a new one here. Uh, it has disguise for one red. You may cast this card face down for three as a 2-2 two -two creature with ward two. Turn it face up at any time for its disguise cost. Kind of like morph. Whenever a pyrotechnic performer or another creature you control is turned face up. That creature deals damage equal to its power to each opponent. So it's just like a, a just a beater. That's it. Just a, an aggressive creature. Okay. No lock piece. Sweet. So on mana or play Saga. I want to play Saga. I'm going to do. And let's spin it. Surely they're playing something silly. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, oh, Matt would never do that. <laughs> um, all right. Well, at least Surgical is not going to be the greatest here for them. Here we see kind of the awkwardness of uh, Force of Will. If we, had, if we had kept the Ancient Tomb instead of the Saga, that was a decision there. Could have played Containment Construct, and this would have been nuts. It would have been so nuts. I mean, it's probably still going to be nuts, but let's see. Let's see. It did reduce power level so that I'd, I'd have a Saga. Surgical, my LED. Yep. As expected. But now we have four mana floating and six Storm. Here's some BS combo. Where they turn some nonsense face up and one shot you, yeah. Probably, huh? All right, we're spinning. You're breaking through. I'm gonna play these pedals out because I'm gonna cast this breakthrough. Um, probably for X equals two. So that I can still have force. We can do it for three. In case oh no, no no I was gonna say in case I hit LED, but we don't have them. Let's do it for Honestly, I'm going to want to play, like, Containment Construct or whatever. So I think I actually go for three. If I can hit Construct or Riddlesmith, then I can play that with Force Backup and potentially Echo. No, we're not going to have enough to Echo. So I guess it's for two, then. Let's go for two. For two. Okay. Do I want to just like hope they don't have it? Probably not, right? The power level is so low, though, for just spinning again. No LEDs. I think we just have to hope they don't have Surgical again. And just actually play these cards out. 
Let's do that. Um, I want to keep two cards, so keep those. Surely they don't have it. But you just have four surgicals in your deck? What's going on here? Hey, we're spinning, maybe, getting trapped. Spirit Guide Pyroblast, jeez. Okay. <laughs> Torpor, Torpor Orb and Balance Tomb, whatever that is, right? Oh, look at that, we hit a brain... <laughs> Uh, brain freeze and force. Where do you one point seven percent to have the surgical? How are you getting that? You don't know how many surgicals are in their deck. Right. I mean, it's gonna be a bummer if we have to pitch this brain freeze. Okay, so they definitely have Dreadnought in their deck. <laughs> Another one of these things. Okay. We're in trouble. Pretty good. Ugh, I have to pass though. I only have one echo left in the deck. Here we don't get needled here. Yep. Six, we got a four. They have one card. So they don't really need the metal craft. So trade. Aww. All right. I don't think we need Surge Node or Haywire Might in our deck. Rhinosphere, though. So weird. Uh, I think it's just Petal. No, I think it's Spell Bomb. I think I want access to be able to draw a card immediately. Riddle Smith. Come on, bro. Oh, bro. I don't want to get rid of this brain freeze. Draw. 
Brutal. And I think we're dead. <laughs> Why are there pyroblasts? Like, what's happening? What is happening with this deck? All right, we have to hit our echo. One of echo. Yeah, we're dead. Okay, that was um, interesting. Lose the die roll, get turn one turn is feared. Get wrecked. Uh, and then get wrecked by a spirit guide pyroblast out of your turn one Trinisphere Torpor Orb Dreadnought Pyrotechnic Performer deck. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it's a cool way to lose. GG's. All right. See y'all on round two. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and Mana tokens, as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. Yes, search node is for chalice. Did preview go away? There we go. And now we're playing against Arkin. <laughs> Sand is all right. I'll take it. A mulliganed. If they're streaming, I'm not gonna snipe. I just want to see if he's streaming. He's not. Matt was. Huh. Interesting. They mulligan to five. You had expected Pyroblast and Surgical. Would you bring in Defense Grid, or is that a waste of slots? I mean, it depends how many they're playing. Can't really tell. They mulligan to four. We won the game. Okay. <laughs> uh. I feel like he's usually playing blue. He's been playing that like blue black rescaminator stuff. I'm just going to go all in on defense grid and assume that's what he's doing. I need these, play these, and it totally plays though. Vapor, actually not terrible, not great though.
What do I want to trim? I'll just trim one bobble. Probably want raven form. Romox. They do land some sort of hateful permanent. If you can manage to have an island or Odawara, Rid will typically, you know, allow us to actually cast stuff like this. At the same time, we don't 100% know what he's doing. You know? Arkin does a lot of brewing, so... I think he got third place in the trophy race last season. All right, what do we got here? Sure. And is certainly imperfect. It gets really good if we draw Ancient Tomb. I will say that. Even Saga, pretty good. Really, any land is good. Great, even. All right, they mulligan to six. This is a Chrome Mox. So I don't think this surgical is going to be of use. Sort of. Okay. Gotcha. All right, we certainly had the read wrong. Something completely different. Master. Uh, it's probably gonna do it. Oh, we drew it. Hmm. So we can play grid for. Metalcraft. Uh, we can't get trapped. It's not cast. Come on, LED. Bobble's going. Is there land coming? There's no use using this bobble right now. Your bobble. Crush Master. This card is a land. Okay, so this is what they're working with. Pretty good, though. I think we're dead next turn. Uh, we are one mana away from front-siding this Echo. Okay. Makes sense. Probably still have lethal. Three, six, seven, eight. And is not terrible. Bounces Trash Master. Now uh, they can replay it with Cavern. Red was terrible. Doesn't have haste. I think it's the play that we have to make. We could shuffle their deck with Surgical. Yeah, let's do it. Then we get to see how they board as well. They have three chalice, two null rods. 
Good to know. Um, I guess I don't care if they draw, or yeah, I do. Yeah, I don't want them to draw sticker. Oh, I was supposed to use Bobble. <laughs> Might not even... I mean, we don't really have another play, right? Either way. What do you got? Skirk. Okay. So... They can attack... Four, three, four, put us the four, and play Skirk, sacrifice both, they can still play Trash Master. Post combat. I mean, our out is just drawing LED, right? We're just giving ourselves as many draws as possible to LED. And this is the last one. Sack. Zack. Play it. Nope. Let's we'll see if they would have used Trash Master here. Where this goes. Because if they do, we're technically not dead. We do. Or no, we are dead. We're still dead to Rabble Man. They do exactly four. If they had sacked Trash Master, we would have been at one. Potentially had two draws and not gotten there anyways. Okay. Okay, so let's go back to the original composition. That's the original. I want Haywire Might, Surge Node, Dismember. Good against Null Rod. Raven form. I want the Hydro Blast. Three. That's six. Uh, I don't need Grid. Bomb. It's like okay against Sticker Goblin. I. I don't think so. And we probably just trim some zeros. What is Mirrodin Beseeched for? For like the slower matchups? Um. Break through. Yeah. Okay, on the play. We got double force in containment construct. You can cast this. Yeah, I mean, this is a keep. Definitely a keep. Find a Riddlesmith for Golden. I'm going to be one away from Metalcraft because Construct is an artifact. Art is great. So 
So good. You mulligan? Of course, the bummer is I think we're we're pitching breakthrough if we have to force. We could just pitch force. Hope they don't have two things. All right, the construct. I'm gonna play the opal out. Obviously, it's worse if we draw into Riddlesmith. But probably not going to have the blue to cast Riddlesmith without putting this into play. Mind a Saga, Island, Odawara, any of my non Opal zero drops. Tomb, Chrome Mox. And print a Muxus. Else on zero. so hard to pitch breakthrough when we have a containment construct in play. Do I just pitch this echo? I think so. Really tough. Three cards. Yeah, I mean, I feel like we're going to have to use this force anyways. Like, probably right now. Apple. I'm going to let that one go. All right, come on, blue source. Come on, blue source. Not quite. Or trade. We can decide when they attack. I don't think I trade. That's not good. Ugh. Well, goodbye, construct. Imagine they're gonna hit construct now. They even give me the opportunity to block. We definitely do it before. Yup. This is brutal. It doesn't matter. We're dead. Wow. I feel like we're not getting a fair shake here. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Well, we are 0-2. I will see you in round three.
Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a Magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like, I mean, similar to Vintage, uh, Legacy is a format that <laughs> sometimes you just get stomped. And that's what's happening. Keep undoing the card preview. It's annoying. All right, we have won the die roll here in round three against Mav 4121. And is so close, but not playable. His hand is playable. This one plays. Yes, it does. Um... It says, hey, Tony Hope all as well. I guess they're local because they're asking him if I'm playing at my local weekend. <laughs> I'm going to say no working and then say no more okay so construct they are f6 she is playing these off of construct i'll just put them into play we're gonna have metal craft so I go like this i'm gonna say no we're gonna spin it breakthrough is just insane um draw four out I draw four Okay, we yield. How do I know which one? So Ancient Tomb. Uh, I guess I just don't want it in my deck, so yes. Split up, okay, Daredevil can go Graveyard. Bobbles, yes. Echo can go Graveyard. Force of Will, yes. Album. Be able to cast it. Do I want it in my deck? Or I'll put it in the graveyard. Yes. Force, yes. Yes. And bubble. We hit no mana. We get to put this into our hand. And we get to get Boblin. Okay. It's the rematch. Um, I'm going to use it. There's just no way we're not going to find Metalcraft, right? I'm drawing four cards. And if I draw into Force, that could be good. Infreeze, Grid, Riddlesmith. Cool. Hmm. <laughs> of course, they're playing main deck Chalice. I mean, maybe it was ill advised the breakthrough there.
It's a good one. I want to, or no, it's not a good one. It's an okay one, I guess. Yeah, let's pass. Is this program so weirdly for Moto? Yeah, I wish these like didn't stay. You can't play those, right? It's till this turn. Yeah, like why do they sit here? Double sticker. Eight. Triple sticker. <laughs> Oh, God. We just dead? Okay, caves. Not dead. Not quite dead yet. Caves is one thing. Oh, that's bad for us. Come on, man. <sighs> Would have been so good. Yeah, we're dead. We are dead. Yeah, it's probably just incorrect to break through there. We had like double force. Four cards is a lot, but we probably should have passed with force. Probably. Probably the correct thing to do. Okay, so surge node, haywire might. Um, dismember. Raven form, hydroblast. Took out the grid. Got some baubles, couple chrome mocks. And a spell bomb. All right. Going fast. Give them a random hand. Random hand them. Go for the extra mana instead of Saga. There we go. We're just pretty much in here. Draw, green freeze, give it yes, three, four, saga, LED, yes, echo, spin it. Nothing. Oh boy. All right. Can we draw into a force? Nisus. Okay. They have Fable coming. Sticker in hand. Are you chief? Force? 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 No force. In a vapor. 
Not the worst. The mocks. We mold them into a perfect hand. It looks like it. Seems par for the course for tonight. They had a six. <laughs> okay. Jeez. Never mind the pyrokinesis. Like, this is a random seven that we gave them. Unbelievable. Um, <laughs> let's... Go for a YOLO breakthrough. Hydroblast rabble. And we're only taking two, four, five. We're only drawing one card. Uh, you also just try to get there with Construct. If we hit an LED, we're almost surely just in there. Same time, you can almost get a free turn. Not gonna have pyroblast, but four eight nine. You think I'd rather hit? So let's kill this. You know, discard echo. We should have a pretty good turn next turn. We get two looks at something impactful here. Keep it, that's not good. Hopefully it's not a trash master. Be tragic. Going to town. Still have zero cards. Breakthrough for two, but I still think I just want to. In Chain of Vapor, the token. And play Construct. Try to go off next turn. Maybe Riddlesmith is more important. No, we can't. We need the blue. Okay, so I'm gonna bounce this. Play containment construct. All right, can you just draw a land, please? Not a shatter skill smashing. That's not that land. <laughs> it's <laughs> unreal, man. <laughs> that is how it's gonna go tonight it's just one of those nights jeez man <laughs> okay so Breakthrough.
Didn't really hit. <clears throat> Can't play Riddlesmith. Four, three. Just crazy. Okay, so we're going to yield through these. That can go graveyard. Sure. Break through. Okay. Will Smith. This member. LED. Force of will, sure, sure. Opal Saga. Play Saga. Dismember sort of one. I die. Can't echo. I play containment construct. Again, block two tutus. Can I survive? Put that thing back into my hand. No, I can't because they don't even hit play. Or if I play construct. Daredevil back to hand. Whatever. All right, your turn. Can't believe this chalice draw. <laughs> right, they get in. Walk. Lock. And we go to two. Can't use Ancient Tomb. I mean, it's a good draw, but not with Chalice in play. This is brutal. We cannot catch a break tonight. Absolutely cannot. Oh, I'm forgetting the record. <laughs> Oh, 03, holy crap. All right, see you in round four. I'm still having a good time. With card order, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as seven tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash deck. We're having a good time. I wish I didn't have to redo this every time. Hmm. Like, I think we played fine there. We just got really unlucky. Previously I made, I think I made an error playing the breakthrough. But even then, additionally, we got unlucky. Like how about the game before that where we wheeled them into pyrokinesis Triple uh, sticker goblin, um, right? I don't know. It was insane. It was insane. <laughs> Get wrecked.
Are they all playing Chalice now? Like in the main? Goblins? Okay. Sure. I don't see why not. OP says, oh boy. Alright, say construct. Bobble. Bobble. We could LED here and play the other construct. I just, I don't really see a reason to. Let's see what they got going on. Battle. Faithless looting. Right. Yeah. There's a blue card and another force. Okay. Like what I'm seeing. Pedal just passing. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if we're supposed to use LED and cast Thoughtcast. Probably not. Okay. Being in tomb into animate dead. Not gonna force the entomb. We know they already have faithless looting. There's dad. What's up, dad? Probably. Elgrave. Well, he didn't draw reanimate. Sweet. Their saga. I think it's time to cast this. Order, yield, yes, yes, yes. Be annoying having two of these, huh? Uh, cost three. Two. In. Great. But I'll take it. I always say no to the second one. I mean, it's the same thing as saying yes. When there's nothing there to say yes or no to, right? You'll have to make a click every time. All right, it's not a shallow grave. It's enemy dead. We have an Aether Spellbomb in the deck, which is probably going to give us lethal here. Hoping.
That's true, but if you discard Echoed Exile, you can right click always yes. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna do that. Children of Corliss. Not putting any more monsters in. All right, they're dead. The easy game. Dude. Bell bomb. Put bobble. And boop. We got him. Love your content, Tony. Thank you, Earthbender Momo. Are you uh like Mo I think it's Momo and then some numbers on Moto? Um alright, so we don't need grid. We do need force of detection and surgicals. Don't want any of these. Hydroblast, EB. Definitely want fluster. No, no. Let's see what our deck looks like. I think I want Chain of Vapor. Don't mind Spell Bomb. Bobble. Bull. Cast. I'm not going to play Hydroblast. Yo, what's up, Aiden? Opponent said, you'd probably win the normal way, but you may end up with a free win here as I'm getting called to dinner. I said, let's try to play quick because I'm recording. All right, they're on six. Sand is not bad. <laughs> Discarding themselves. Usually this is a scenario in which you actually want to counter it. That means they're that desperate. Keep breakthrough. No, I think we keep the force. And yay, see ya. Fun with your stream and league. All right, I mean, definitely more game to play there, but I guess they gotta go to dinner. We won one. All right, we were gonna draw a force. Oh, it was looking good for us. We were going to do some stuff. All right, we are one and three. I'll see you in the final round. Want early access to articles at theepicstorm.com? Become a member of our Patreon to get articles seven days early on top of other sweet benefits and help us pay our website team. You can sign up at patreon.com slash theepicstorm. Kind of weird league so far. Yeah, it's been um 
we've been getting smashed. Like, our opponents have had insane draws, and we have had, like, just not necessarily bad, but just comically unfortunate scenarios. Like, we had a Goblin's opponent dead. They had one draw. They drew a Chalice. Chalice on zero. And then we drew, drew an LED for our Echo. <laughs> I mean, we were going to do plenty of other stuff, but it was like cherry on top. Just crazy. Let's try to salvage 50 play points here. Final round against AVB. The YOLO hand, if I ever saw it. Let's go. Swamp go. Okay. How about big old breakthrough? How about that? Maybe I'm too aggressive with this card. Um, go for two. Um, This saga is probably going to be too slow. Let's see if we can hit some blue cards. Another bobble incoming. Makes me comfortable enough to just use all these. Wasteland, okay. Dark Ritual. Thoughtseize, so I think this is like the Rescaminator deck. That's a Bowman. They didn't cast it into my breakthrough. What is happening? They wanted me to use my baubles, I guess. It's... I. What am I gonna do? Not use them? Guess I could use them on their turn instead. Either way, this is not good for us. Okay. That's uh, a beating. Definitely a beating. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they definitely should have cast it, but either way, we're dead. Certainly dead. It's going. The problem is I don't know how dedicated they are, but I should at least play Surgical. Play Force Negation. Bluster. Probably. It's 
Ten is so close. But it has to like YOLO breakthrough. No, it can't even do that. Kind of can. I'm gonna mulligan this. We can play Containment Construct, but then we don't have a blue card to imprint with Chrome Mox to be able to break through afterwards, unless we imprint Echo, which is the card that we really want in our hand. When we cast Breakthrough, right? We just YOLO Breakthrough, but <laughs> that seems pretty bad. I'm gonna mulligan. Okay, this one is great. And plays magic. I'm going to keep both echoes. Oh, the thing. Preview's not working. There we go. Mulligan five. Construct, bobble, LED. Oops. White mana. No. Oh, come on. I can't undo. You gotta be kidding me, man. You gotta be kidding me. It's just par for the course, right? This is just basically what's been happening tonight. <laughs> oh! <laughs> um. Okay. Uh, nope. Nope. <laughs> I can't handle it, man. I can't. So bad. All right. They have a swords on top. A swords? They just passed over? They feel bad? What's happening right now? Feel really bad for us? Got it. That's a scrubland. What they keep? Let me spin it, please. Thank you. Get something. I deserve a win right here. Like, just give me the nut so we can move on. This is pretty good. Pedal, pedal, riddle. Opal. Yes. Okay. Rain freeze. Oh, Mox. Yes. Ooh. This card fluster. No. LED. Riddle. Okay. 
No, I kind of want the LED in play, right? If we draw an echo. Yeah. Breakthrough. Pretty good. Can we find an echo? Not yet. Breakthrough for one. Good hold construct. Oh, good bobble. Mon echo. Mon echo. Comes back to hand at least. All right, well, we almost did stuff. Comes the bowman for <laughs> more. Yep. Oh. Okay. Pretty weak. You have it. Oh, that's all right. All right, come on, Echo. Come on. Okay. That all? Guard. Breakthrough for two? Yeah, let's do two. All right, we found it. Um, go. I don't even think it's worth playing Spell Bomb, actually. Spin it. I think we're finally doing it. Construct, yes. Uh, I don't want to discard it yet. At all. Yes, discard. Land. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, we were going to go through the deck at that point. It was the first time we've even been able to put those two creatures into play together. Um,. Just run it back. What did they keep? You know? I mean, that was the game that we just misclicked and threw away our hand. I mean, it did involve putting Echo in our graveyard. But still, we can keep.
names. I guess. I guess this is not what we originally thought it was. I should have changed my sideboarding. We should have like removal. This is black white. I don't think it's taxes though. It's uh, reanimate. Like what? Or maybe the sideboarding's fine. I don't think I want to go discard yet. Let's see if they got a wasteland. You. Okay. Still don't want to go to clean up. Need a blue source. At least that we have this force a well. It's pretty good. Deal with this card. Get rid of one of these. They're probably going to reanimate it. I'll probably have to use the other force. It's just my guess. Yep. Get one of these echoes. Four cards in hand. Another reanimate. No, we have swords. Okay. Spinning. I've shown us a ritual. Do you have it? Don't. Um, this one's not good. <laughs> this is not very good. Got Serenity as well. I don't even think I want this in play. Whatever. Underwhelming. Um, they probably have more discard than Serenity, right? But Serenity is more damaging. I'm just going to trust that my deck is going to provide me with something off of these two draws. I also need cards for Riddlesmith. You shouldn't have played all of them out? I don't know. Keep the pedal in hand. Some F6 value. Touch the spirit realm. I mean, if that's the worst that's going to happen, I'll be fairly happy. Nope. Roll. <laughs> Goldred. Nice. God, we wheeled into nothing. Yep, more nothing. <laughs> nothing me, not the daredevil. Nothing. Perfection.
my dad. They can touch, and they hit us for four, five, six, seven. We got a four. Shoulder hits us for two. Not going to kill my... Wow. Okay. Oops, oops. No, no, no. No, wait. Ah! Had to use this. Well, now we're dead. What was I going to draw? Ancient Tomb, doesn't matter. We're not getting out of this, right? That was... That was a beating. It was a beating and a half. That was like the most painful league I've ever played. And has nothing to do with the deck, right? We just like got smashed. But it happens sometimes. I still think the deck is sweet. Obviously, Killaby just took down the challenge. Um, I definitely was not playing it anywhere near perfect. Like not even close. Um, I've hardly played with Breakthrough need to play with it more to get an idea as to, you know, how to function with it. Um, I have a better idea with previous iterations. Like, this deck is... I mean, I hesitate to say less able to, like, really take off because it's still, like, able to do that. We just couldn't, for the life of us, put these two cards into play. Like, never mind when you're fighting against removal and stuff. We just couldn't even do it in the first place. Um, but previous iterations had access to, like, Gamble, uh, which is a bit more action and, it, it, you know, redundancy for spinning the wheel. But, yeah, we just... It was unlucky. Unlucky. Um, but Sweet List... You know, congrats, Killaby. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out here. Of course, I do want to thank our sponsors, Moxfield, Card Hoarder, KMC, and do want to mention, uh, check out my YouTube as well, my Twitch, Patreon, and I did just start a podcast, Brews of Paradise, with myself, the creator of this deck, Killaby himself, as well as Punishing Waterfalls, of whom we played against today, which is pretty sweet, and uh, the newest addition being Newton, the creator of Cradle Control. Um, we're on episode five. Next episode's going to have, as our first guest, uh, Bosch and Roll, Brian Koval himself, who is a host, uh, co-host with Bryant, of course, with the Eternal Glory podcast. So as it says on the banner above me at times, that is the best podcast the fact, I guess Brews of Paradise is the second best podcast, right? But go check it out. Uh, thanks for chilling. And uh, stay stormy. That's it. <laughs> See you all next time. Oh, check out Jordan on Thursday. He'll be streaming live here on YouTube. Jordan Kareem. So peace out.